Hi, hi, Crystal here. Welcome to another video with Interactive Immersive HQ. In this video, I'm going to go over the Photoshop in top, how you can connect in Touch Designer and some quick tips on how to use it or what I use it for. So let's begin. So let's start with some settings in Photoshop. So in Photoshop, go to Edit, Preferences, Plugins. In the plugin, you'll have this window open and make sure enable generator is checked on, enable remote connection is checked on, and um, I have these also checked on, but automatically it'll be called Photoshop servers in service names, and then it'll ask you to put a password in. So you need six characters for this demo. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So after this is done, I'm going to close this and I recommend you closing Photoshop and relaunching it. And we'll for now, um, have a canvas open. Let's have it 1920 by 1080. Make sure it's a normal canvas and not an artboard because it seems like Photoshop in top doesn't like to connect with artboards. So create that. And for now, I'll just do a quick little squiggly line so when it starts talking in touch designer i will see this now in touch designer i'm going to have a photoshop in top and once you open it you'll get an error and it's because we don't have a password so i can keep local host the same and i'm going to put one two three four five six or whatever password you did in photoshop and you'll see this so what we had in Photoshop was the squiggly line, but notice how I had transparency here and I don't have transparency in Photoshop in top it's because also the image format is JPEG, but unfortunately uncompressed RGB also won't have alpha. So unless it's something I don't know, it's gonna have a white background if you have alpha. So what we can do is get rid of it in Touch Designer. We can do a channel mix top. And a channel mix top have alpha B one 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 zero. And then what is black will not be out, will be out. In Photoshop, if you had the background to be black, whatever you draw in white, Oops. Well, you'll just see that. And I recommend having a null afterwards. And what kind of nice is having it being so quick from Photoshop into Touch Designer. If you're doing something where you just want to layer things quickly, but you don't want to just save and uh, constantly saving and then redoing it, it's like, okay, I want to have a um, flowers, let's do a scenario where you have a, this beautiful banana image and I want other bananas in this composition. So I can, in Photoshop, oops, quickly draw a banana and then I'll be able to layer this over quickly but and I'll, I'm like I really like this banana cool I can also just lock it add another lock null and oh I want to layer a different banana on it in Photoshop, draw something else. Please. Lock that. Be able to not just a composite. Doing something like that will just be a lot faster if you have that, have Photoshop in, in your workflow. Great. Doing layers quickly, exporting things, um, 
what other things you can do. And also, if you do this method, I highly recommend after you're like, okay, this is something I want a lot of to save the image. Because if you also just have a bunch of lock tools over time, if you also, your, your uh, network will also, uh, it'll be less optimized. So uh, this is a good quick thing to do, but at the end, you should still export this out. Great. Let's get another scenario. What's good using Photoshop in top is to quickly mask something, especially if you're doing some projection mapping. So let's say if you have a project where you are projection mapping something, poop, 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 and it's on a building, but the building has a store and it also has this tree and your show is going to be going to be up in maybe live in five minutes. But we want to like quickly mask this tree and the store out. What shall we do? We can use Photoshop. Uh, <laughs> Photoshop in top. In this scenario, we fell in. We want to project this beautiful image of this jelly beans on this building. So um, in Photoshop in top, I can keep the background white and I'll add a multiply or a composite set as a multiply. And I'm gonna hook this up for one and this as the other. So right now this is the output of whatever is projecting out. And in the scenario, This is already projected. I can see this projected. I just need to mask out this tree. So I can just be in Photoshop and draw out this tree. I'm like, okay, I'm just outline this tree. Yep, it is here. Let me get this tree, color it out, and this door. I can fill it in, but now I have a custom mask for this and it's and it's exactly what I wanted and I was able to do that quickly up on the fly. Another thing you can do in Photoshop in is to quickly make some geometry with it. So I'm gonna clear this out. I'm gonna make this background black. So whatever I draw, I'll be able to see it. So I don't want to make a 3D object of just a squirrel. Do a trace to stops really quickly. I'm like, okay, whatever I just drew in Photoshop is a geometry, uh, a sop shape now, but I can add an extrude and lower the depth scale of this. And just for funsies, I'm gonna make this even thinner. Can do a twist. And increase the strength of this twist. And can even add a sprinkle. Then I have it's really cool geometry and the thing that's nice this versus having to export it into a PNG is that I can do live edits or ads like oops never mind I want to do a different thing that can just be up quickly so Fun stuff. I hope you enjoyed this and you can start adding Photoshop in top in your workflow. Let me know one of the things I gave from the tip that you really enjoyed and you're like, I'm totally going to play with this after this video. <laughs> Till next time. Bye. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like our YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out the interactive and immersive HQ Pro. The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community for immersive design, touch designer, and creative tech pros. 
In the HQ Pro trainings, we cover almost any topic you can think of, and we go way more in depth than we do in our YouTube tutorials. We have a private group where Matthew Reagan, myself, and our other industry veteran and pioneer teachers answer your questions every single day. If that sounds cool, click the link in the description to learn more. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more free touch designer and immersive content.